At the age of five, me and my mom immigrated from Mexico over to the United States. We come from a small city in the outskirts of Mexico called Zacatecas. We came in efforts of building a better lifestyle and working towards a better future to support my family, my parents, and my extended family. My name is Kevin Gaitan. I come from a single parent home. My mom is a trailblazer. She is a brilliant little lady. She is fearless, hardworking, and dedicated. She has taught me the principles of hard work and to never shy away from hard work. In fact, in order to support me and give me the best life possible, we have taken on jobs, countless numerous jobs, ranging from painting, gardening, late night janitorial services. I mean, you name it, we have probably done it. Through her efforts, I am happy to say that my educational career has taken lift. This May, I'll be graduating from San Jose State with a double major in sociology and dance, and it's all through her efforts and through her support. <laughs> About a year ago, my future was somewhat uncertain and my career goals were a little foggy. However, through the intersectional work of the county and the creation of the New Americans Fellowship was established. This fellowship was designed to empower and give DACA recipients a real opportunity for professional development. Through this process, I have been able to work with the Office of LGBTQ Affairs closely. I have been tasked to research the undocumented LGBTQ community, and out of this work, I have been able to create and coordinate special projects relating to mental health, in specific to undocumented LGBTQ folks, income, safety, and now I'm coordinating a conference which is specific to giving positive visibility to undocumented LGBTQ students around the county. I am an undocumented LGBTQ identified man of color. Living within the intersections of being a person of color, undocumented, and LGBTQ has been a very empowering journey of self-discovery and a lot of challenge. However, identifying as undocu queer has been important in informing the work that I do and the experiences that I've had. Meanwhile, many of these identities have given me a struggle, historical struggle, and a lack of resource. Many of these identities have also given me an opportunity and privilege over other communities and subpopulations. And this is why intersectional work is important because it gives us an opportunity to know where we stand in the struggle for freedom, where we stand in terms of helping others who may not have the same relationship or benefits that we do. And this is why intersectional work is so important because when moving forward in our work, it gives us an opportunity to create a platform that is inclusive that is diverse, that is empowering, and more importantly, that it is fair and equitable. In working with the County of Santa Clara and through this process, it has given me an opportunity to become a leader in my communities and give back the knowledge that I have acquired. Multiple times, our communities are left behind because there are complex identities that are intersecting are left behind because policymakers oftentimes don't know how to deal with these communities. However, through the leadership with special offices like Office of LGBTQ Affairs, the Office of Immigrant Relations, and the Office of Women's Policy, subject matter experts that have the capacity of making a tangible difference in the lives of these individuals, they offer an intersectional outlook which gives a solution to a complex problem by giving a holistic, well-researched approach.